I'm Media now, the bus. Okay guys, so we are finally here. Say hi! So two besties right here. And little shampoo ball. <laughs> Today is day three in Cape Town and we are at the French Hook wine track. <laughs> Just been there for a while. And obviously last night was the Sensai event which was so much fun. And I spoke to the Willies and Sensai team and we might host one in Joburg as well. We are thinking of doing one where I physically show you how I do my own skincare and my own makeup on myself. So which I think will be such a like interactive and nice bonding session with the ladies um but yeah for now we're going to a few wine farms and we might just spend the afternoon at Olivia. honestly such a beautiful day today and no that's not real mountains behind us.
just landed and it's approximately quarter past seven at night and we do have load shedding in a bit but so so happy to be back home officially back from Cape Town and a good morning to everyone so today I'm just gonna make use of the day to kind of get everything organized again get the washing done I want to do my hair I want to do my skin I want to tint my eyebrows so I thought let me show you guys how I do it so funny story I did film actually like how I packed for Cape Town quite a lot of scenes and I lost a lot of the footage I shared on my Instagram regarding I was struggling with these SD cards and kind of came to the conclusion where people sent me videos of I've been buying fake cards from Amazon so I lost a lot of footage so I thought let me show you guys again how I tint my eyebrows kind of how I well, not get ready, but get unready from a trip. So just to kind of fill my cup again, get ready for working and the rest of the week. So I want to get some washing done. I want to wash my hair. I want to do my eyebrows. I want to do my skin. Starting off with a cup of coffee. Cheers. And then also, on a different note, so I am finally going to put a few new things in place that I want to do on a regular basis. And I know everyone, when it's the new start of the year, you kind of have this new resolution list of things that you want to do in the new year, challenge yourself to do, kind of change your daily life. And I've always struggled with keeping with it. So I get these like bursts of motivation during the year. And I would say mine was on my birthday. I immediately felt like there was a few things I want to change, a few things I really want to incorporate on my daily life. So I'm going to start off with stretching. So I do have a Cairo. I go to uh, the Parkhurst Cairo. I will leave her details down below. And the last session that I went, it was kind of to a point where it was concerning that I'm not flexible. I can't even lift my leg up, which is like I'm 25. No reason for me not to be able to do that. So I want to start every single morning with 10 minutes of stretching. And Lizzie, if you're watching this, I know you're going to be proud. <laughs> we'll still get to lying on the whole towel situation. Uh, so I want to start with stretching. I really want to get back into working out. I, it's always something that kind of gave me the right serotonin and yeah just want to kind of do it for myself and not for a specific reason so i want to start doing that again but i'll take you guys along on everything just kind of feel like now i'm on youtube i just want to share everything at once but it will take time the first off i'm going to start prepping my hair and then while i wait for approximately 15 minutes while it's in my scalp and uh, throughout my hair i'm going to do skincare quickly brush my teeth and tint my eyebrows with you guys so that's the plan of action so I want to try out this one. It's the Kerastase Chroma Absolute. So this one says it's for sensitized or damaged color treated hair. Now just to quickly expand my texture, I do have very coarse dry hair naturally. Very curly, it doesn't get oily fast, which people might think is a dream, but in actual fact, it always looks dry and I can't handle any bleach. A lot of heat tools then you can then you can kind of pick it up quite easily uh, you know with split ends and just you're know, looking dull and dry so normally I use the Olaplex number zero this one says it's intensive bond building hair treatment exactly exactly what I need it says yeah primes repairs strengthens and protects all hair types and it just technically says you saturate it from root to tip hair should be damp not drenched while well, this one i want to see also i'm struggling with dry scalp this winter and i really do hope it's seasonal because otherwise i'm going to have to get these like a kerastase 
scalp scrub that I want to try out. But this one says, let's quickly read. There we go, there's the English. <laughs> Resurfacing high shine rinse treatment for sensitized or damaged color treated hair. Use once a week. Apply to shampooed and towel dried mid length and ends until saturated. Leave on for one to two minutes. Rinse thoroughly. Okay, so this is after shampoo and treatment. With this one, says leave on here for 10 minutes and then rinse shampoo condition as usual. Or do I want to do like a double treat? Hmm, no. Let's do a little fix. Now on to quickly tinting my eyebrows. I use the reflector fill in shade number three, which says this one is natural brown. I use literally pinky nail size amount. And I just take like a little plastic lid or anything that uh, you don't mind staining. So as you can see there, that's the amount. As soon as it oxidizes, so as soon as it catches some oxygen, it will get darker on the brow. Then I'm going to mix it with the 10 volume peroxide, which you can just get at clicks or Diskin. And I just use a few drops and I'm going to mix it together. So I have my spoolie ready and before I'm going to actually jump in there, I'm just going to comb through my eyebrows. Up. Just make sure it's blended well. The peroxide actually opens up that follicle for the tint to going to I think <laughs> and then I'm gonna brush through my brows with the tint I'm just gonna make sure I get it in all the little areas and we'll clean it up now because it, it will stain your skin and then I'm just gonna use the last bit on my lashes not that it's necessary but while I'm at it when I take it off it doesn't necessarily burn my eyes there we go. Now I'm going to take some earbuds and I'm just going to clean up everywhere where I have to. And I'm just going to, everywhere where you don't want it to, you just wipe it off. There we go. I cleaned that one up. So there we have it. And now I'm just going to wait for approximately five to seven minutes. As soon as I see that it becomes really dark, I'm gonna take a cotton pad and I'm just gonna wipe everything off. Now I'm quickly just going to remove it so you can clearly see how dark it is as to when I put it on. Okay. I'm gonna quickly shower and then I'll show you guys my skincare and let me quickly show you guys what I'm going to wash my hair with. So I'm going to start off with the Lanza Healing Smooth Glossifying Shampoo. This one, I haven't used it a lot, but I do like it. I know they use it in the salon. And then also the Kerry Stars Chroma Absolute. Um, this is for dark brunette perfecting anti-red undertones mask. Sensitized or damaged color treated hair and it just neutralizes uh, obviously the red. So it is like a purple color, so it does stain. So I'm gonna go and shower in the guest bathroom, which is the darker shower. <laughs> so that's the two I'm gonna use. And then we're just gonna do skincare. So I just got out of the shower, I towel dried my hair. And I have to say, even though that green purple shampoo, you will see I have a stain on my head, is quite a mission to apply and to rinse. It really does leave my hair very soft. So next up, I'm gonna go in with this sensitized or damaged color treated hair anti-frizz antioxidant thermic serum. It's a leaving one. I'm doing like a full-on little self-care day. I'm gonna show you guys my extensive skincare routine so I don't do this every single day or every single night. I always do like three products like 
wash my skin do moisturize and serum at night and then during the day i'll do that exact steps with the spf so i don't do like this whole routine i'm just showing you guys because today i'm not going to do any makeup i'm not going to do any hair care i'm just going to let everything rest so let's start off with the face wash the sensei gel wash and then i always always use my luna 3 by Rio. so that's the steps i'm going to start off with Now I'm going in with the Silk Peeling Powder and this is the exfoliant I use so it doesn't have granules, it's almost like it's a powder form so let me quickly show you guys. That's one use. I'm going to make it, just add a little bit of uh, water to it, not a lot, really not a lot, just a few drops. now I'm going in with a mask so this one is only like a 10 minute mask this is the Sensei extra intensive mask and I'm just gonna leave it on just for a little while so it is quite thick in texture and it does add heaps of hydration so I love to use this one either when I'm like on flights or uh, especially in the winter I'm just gonna apply that I put it on my lips as well and sometimes I would even uh, sleep in this mask especially when I feel like my skin is extremely dry you know when you wear loads of makeup and products that you aren't used to and my skin lashes out or it just feels very dry especially around the nose area chin and mouth I would sleep in this mask so before we remove the mask, it's been about 10 minutes, I'm just going to take this massaging tool, I'll add the name here, yeah, I'm not really sure what you call it, and I'm just going to do some lymphatic drainage, so obviously it's just like stimulating the skin, obviously blood flow and all those benefits, and you can also see like in my skin right here, how dry it is, it kind of flares up, so I'm just going to do this and always use upwards motions. So my skin is quite red but I feel like whether I gym, do skincare, get hot, I turn red quite easily. So the last two steps I'm going in with this dual essence and this one is a serum. It's extremely hydrating, obviously ideal for winter. I only use a few drops, not too many. It smells so good. And then I'm using the Cellular Performance Lifting a Radiance Cream. This one is quite lightweight. And I normally I swear by SPF. I never go out of the house without placing it on my whole face. So I am about to leave and it is a few days later. Sorry, my camera battery just died uh, when I was busy with that skincare routine. And as you guys can hear, I am sick. Um, so I'm quickly on my way to go do laser removal. And I'm doing a few of my areas. And I think I've been doing approximately like eight sessions now. So we are towards the end. I'm going to take you guys along. Then I'm going to the studio this afternoon. And then I think I should just rest. So I am doing my laser appointment and um, Jackie is the one always assisting me. So it's in Parker's, but they also do have a Moraleta um, branch as well. This is the machine they're using and I do my legs, underarms and all the parts that's necessary. <laughs> I am officially back home and I'm feeling quite sick, I'm not going to lie, so I'm just going to rest. But that's it for the vlog. Thank you so, so much guys for joining and hopefully I'll have my next one up in the next two weeks. Bye!